Hi guys, this is a follow-up video on the snapshot video I made two days ago where I talked about this change to repeaters here. In the latest snapshots, repeaters no longer give out block updates uh, regardless what's in front of them. Repeaters would only give out block updates if there's a solid block in front of them. I received a lot of feedback in the comment section and also on the Reddit and the overwhelming majority of people agreed with me that the repeater should update the piston. But there were also some people, including the responsible developer, that uh, yeah, had another argument and they are thinking that the piston shouldn't be updated because it shouldn't be powered anyway. And their argument is that the piston shouldn't be powered because it would be powered by an air block. And I want to show that this just isn't true because you can't power anything with an air block. And it's easy to prove that the air block doesn't power anything by just placing a piston here. If an air block would really power anything, then this piston would also be powered. So just to make it clear, air blocks don't power anything. The real reason why this piston here is powered isn't the powered air block, which isn't powered anyway, it's quasi-connectivity. And a lot of people still don't understand what quasi-connectivity is and how it works despite it's really easy to understand. In order to understand quasi-connectivity, you just have to go to the Minecraft wiki and type in quasi-connectivity and read the first sentence. Quasi-connectivity is a property of dispensers, droppers and pistons that allows them to be activated by anything that would activate the space above them, no matter what is actually in that space. So that means it doesn't matter at all what is above the piston, it only theoretically has to activate if it would power it by any source. And which is the case here. Because the repeater would power the block above the piston here, the piston is powered by quasi-connectivity. And you can easily illustrate that, always this block above the piston um, would be activated. And you can easily check for quasi-connectivity by, by just um, replacing what is above it uh, with a redstone lamp. So here we have the different blocks from which this piston here could be activated by quasi-connectivity. All of those pistons, uh, all of those blocks here um, would activate the redstone lamp and yeah, that's why the piston is powered by quasi-connectivity. And also this piston above here would do the same. It would activate the redstone lamp and that's why it's powered by quasi-connectivity. You can see here, the block above the piston would be powered, but it doesn't matter what's actually there. It could be an air block, it could be a slab, it could be a glass block, it could even be a full block. It doesn't matter. In the code, the piston doesn't check what's actually above him. He only checks if something would be powered and not what actually is there. And the same for the torch here. You can easily always prove it by doing the, the test with the redstone lamp. The torch here would power this block here, the redstone lamp is on, and that's why this piston here is activated. And additionally, the, 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 the redstone torch also gives out, blo gives out block updates, and that's why it would uh, extend it. So if you don't give out block updates, like with this repeater here, then a piston is powered, but doesn't know it's powered, and needs an additional block update. Same here, piston is powered, doesn't know it's powered, needs a block update to understand it is powered. You can easily understand why a redstone dust on top of a slab would power the piston below it. Because the redstone dust would power the block below it and that's enough for the piston to be powered. So you can see here, the piston gets powered and since the redstone dust, like the torch, updates two blocks away from him, taxi cap distance, the piston also receives an update and also extends without any external updates. So you can see here, the block below it would be turned on, the redstone lamp turns on and that's why this piston would be activated. So if you argument that this piston here shouldn't be activated since it can't be powered by an air block, then your argument is nonsense. The piston doesn't get powered by the air block, the piston gets powered by quasi-connectivity. And even if you change the whole existing redstone system, so your theory of the air block powering model is true in every case, which by the way decreases the performance because you have to implement a lot of extra checks. Then you still don't have a consistent system as long as you deny quasi-connectivity. 
because they still can't explain something like this. So even if air blocks don't power anything, this still doesn't make sense because pistons don't conduct redstone, uh, redstone signal, which can be easily proved by placing a piston above it. So you can see here this piston doesn't get powered since the piston below it doesn't conduct any redstone signal. And if you remove that, then you basically have removed quasi connectivity completely. And that's something Mojang uh, always said works as intended. And two months ago, they just confirmed on their homepage that they wouldn't remove quasi connectivity. On August the 22nd, Mojang released those news. And in the last part, you can read the following statement. We're not done yet either. We'll continue listening to what you folks have to say and refine Redstone accordingly. PC crafters can rest easy too. We aren't planning to remove quasi connectivity from that version. If Mojang would add additional checks and an exception in a code that pistons in this position would no longer get powered, then that's removing quasi connectivity already because the piston has a block above it that would get powered, and that's quasi-connectivity. So they would break the word just two months after reaffirming that the works as intended quasi-connectivity doesn't get removed. Mojang also isn't holding the word in a second instance. They said they would continue to listen to the community and refine Redstone accordingly. And it's exactly what we are not seeing at the moment. Valid bug reports get closed within seconds by giving false excuses. The overwhelming majority of Redstone users that is against those changes we're seeing at the moment gets completely ignored. Then also they're not refining Redstone at the moment, they're breaking it. By, bra by removing of those features, current contraptions would break. Redstone isn't refined, it's broken. Then on the other hand, great suggestions by the community, they would actually refi uh, refine Redstone, get dismissed with this argument. A suggestion by Panda4904 that got backed up by the whole technical community, which in effect would decrease the amount of unnecessary lag that Redstone does causes and get rid of the behavior that is responsible that some contraptions would work in one location but it don't in the other, got dismissed with this argument. We've wanted to change this, but there's no way to do it without changing behavior. We wouldn't know what we would be breaking because of it. And this response came from the same developer that on one hand easily accepts that a lot of current contraptions would be broken just in order to push his idea through that a repeater can't update an observer with an air block in between. A behavior that doesn't cause any harm at all. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.